Are you working toward that next technological leap? Then let Reugen Industries help you get there. You lost. Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. Well, sure. me just want an autograph for a picture. And after I've been modding all night, it gets really annoying. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. I'm just pretty bummed out right now. My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing, and someone ripped me off. Total drag. Oh man, wow, that would be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. Hey, don't worry about it. If you find that new six slate, I'll shunt you some credits. Make it worth your time. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Hmm, well, most of the people who come through here are fans. And they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. Doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. Oh yeah, absolutely. It allows me to step away from myself for a while and harmonize with the universe. There's music out there, you know. If you listen, the trick is not getting hooked on that feeling. I got close to that state a few times, but reality and responsibility has always managed to pull me back. I started playing music when I was 10. My father had an old electronic keyboard he passed down to me, and I fell in love with the thing. By the time I was 15, I got my first track and started club hopping. I was pretty young, but with my father as manager, he watched my back. Four years later, and here I am booked into the hottest club in the settled systems. <laughs> Pretty crazy.
that Kelp Corp? It's too good for me, huh? Let's settle this once and for all. Let me for you. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. On the contrary, our members' lounge has been specifically tailored for that very task. It's a completely secure and monitored environment yeah, where you can enjoy your aurora right. without the Where fear the of being disturbed. Like a rare anyway. commodity in Neon. Well, if you desire so access to the lounge, gifted. you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. No problem. Let me know if you change your mind. If you need anything else, please, don't hesitate to ask. I see. I'd be willing to divulge this information for the right price. Thank you for your business. The man you want goes by the name of Stratos. You'll find him at Madame Savage's. He's what you would call a fan of Miss Borealis's works. Or maybe fanatic is a more accurate term. Either way, he's the one you want. But you didn't hear it from me. He's one of the usual lowlifes you'll find at Madame Savage's. He's also a very fervent admirer of Miss Borealis and her work. It wouldn't surprise me if that admiration extended to her possessions. For fans like him, trinkets and mementos are a way to get closer to the one they admire. Fallen Stardust. We have one of the best alcohol selections in town. Certainly. Now you do understand that the fee is... Whatever you wish. Enjoy your drinks. wasn't doing anything. You didn't see anything. A good song can play on repeat for hours, and it never gets old. Oh, yeah, I love her music so much. 
You a fan of Borealis too? I vibe with that bird hard. She's a beast on the beat. And I love her. Got a track in me head right now. Boom! 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 Yeah, you hear it? It's bloody mood, isn't it? I just need some more Aurora so I can get me head bobbing with the wave. Find that zone. You got the goods, and I'll think about it. I need a hit. Bad. Normally, I'd never leave the Astral Lounge. I can't stand being away from that place. And, uh... But I can't listen to Borealis if I'm not zoning. That bird's song deserves the best eye Aurora can fly. Lady, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. Why would I part with the one thing that connects me to her? And who are you? You don't speak for her. You may think so, but I don't. I don't want that. She should know I appreciate her. You ain't bluffing, are you? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. As much as I hate to admit it, you're right. Okay, you can have the slate. But next time I stop by, I want to hear a mod so sick it beats the piss out of my brain. Kevin and Astis has run into some trouble. Word to the wise? You don't want to fix that. <laughs> be surprised. They can get pretty possessive. Doesn't matter if it's my things or my time. Yeah, it's not all bad. Love can be toxic, but can be beautiful. Sometimes people just confuse the two. But sounds like it all worked out in the end. I've got my slate, which means the people will get their trip. Inspiration's like a wave. Sometimes it's hard to catch it before the break. That's what this slate is. A still wave. A feeling frozen in time. And I appreciate you bringing it back to me. Sound safe. <laughs> <laughs> 